Yo, what's up? It's your boy William, back again, but this time we won't be talking about giant robots. What? Instead, we will be ranking creatures from probably the most horrifyingly disgusting species ever conceived, no, not human beings, the blue. So, unlike other episodes, we won't be going over cool weapons and interesting technology, but instead we're going to rank the most revolting, repulsive, and stomach-churning monsters from one of the most unique anime series ever created based on unique biological features and what I like to call Fear Factor. If you are a fan of Georgia O'Keeffe paintings, you are in for a treat. But any children or people that don't like vaginas that may be watching should stop watching now and any adults who are brave enough to continue should grab a barf bag because the things you are about to see are horrifying and straight out of the mind of David Cronenberg. Before we jump into the rankings, let's take a quick look at the blue as a species. Be warned that spoilers for blue gender are coming your way. Sometime in the early 21st century, human scientists discovered an abnormal genetic strand that was lying dormant across an alarmingly high number of animal species. This genetic strand would come to be known as the B cell. Through examination and experimentation on the B cells, humankind inadvertently caused a chain reaction that resulted in these animals transforming into massive, grotesque, and highly aggressive monsters that were hell-bent on the destruction of human beings. These monsters were the very first blue. With that context in place, let's get into this list of horrifying vaginal aberrations. Number five, Springworm. Jumping off at number five, we have the repulsive annelid known as the Springworm. This subspecies of blue uses its incredibly powerful tail to propel itself towards unsuspecting prey at a high rate of velocity. It appears to be one of the larger and more robust species of blue, but no exact measurements exist to my knowledge. Being an annelid, it has a long, worm-like body and it has two large mandibles that conceal its mouth. The springworm's core is located just above its vagina, I mean mouth. We only get to see this subspecies for a single episode, but apparently it is already well known to the remnant forces from Second Earth based on the technical readout we see on it. So it's reasonable to assume that this subspecies has a history of being a pain in the ass. Interestingly enough, the specimen that we see in that particular episode shows us something very peculiar about blue behavior. It literally pushes a dog away from its mouth in favor of trying to munch on a little girl. So, you know, at bare minimum, we know John Wick wouldn't have any beef with springworms. Number four, the land whale. Bursting its way into the next spot, we have Onyx's grotesque and ugly cousin, the land whale. Much like Onyx, this massive snake-like blue burrows its way through dirt and rocks in search of any unsuspecting prey. It is armored with rock-like plates all over its body, which protect its core. Its armor is lined with incredibly sharp fins that protrude from its spine, which aid in its already impressive burrowing abilities. Land whales are capable of compressing the dirt and rocks that gather in their maw as they burrow into boulder-like pellets that they fire out of their mouths like a cannon. Anyone that has ever seen the first Tremors movie is familiar with how terrifying something like this could be. As if that wasn't bad enough, these aberrations can grow up to 100 feet in length and are thus the largest known species of blue. Yuji, Marlene, and the entire tribe of nomads spend several episodes dealing with this fearsome and destructive blue. About the only saving grace the landwell has is that they are the only species of blue that we see without a mouth that is shaped like genitalia. Number 3, Ultimate Blue. Ending up at number three, we have the absolute pinnacle of blue evolution, the ultimate blue. Standing at 10 feet tall with a length of 25 feet, this absolute unit is almost entirely covered in armor plating, has six legs, bladed forearms, a shear-like set of mandibles, and a long tail with a trident-like spike on the end that is capable of firing out like a grappling hook and penetrating even the heaviest of armor plating. The ultimate blue is capable of running at extremely high speeds and jumping to the very top of the cavern that it calls home in an absolute instant. This blue holds the distinction of being the only blue that does not have a core. 
This might be one of the most intimidating and horrifying things to ever make its way into an anime. Being that the Earth created this to guard the biggest blue nest on the planet, it had to be something that was capable of taking anything on, and it lives up to the hype. This bad boy puts on an absolute show and takes on the most advanced armored shrikes and some of the most skilled pilots that the remnant forces had left to offer. It is only due to Yuji's endless determination and plot strength that this Chad met its end. The fact that the ultimate blue is number three should tell you that the next two entries on this list are especially terrifying. So prepare yourself now because we are on the verge of true horror. Number two, Humanoid Blue. Later on in the series, it is revealed that humans are not only capable of having B-cells, but that the Remnant forces are using humans that possess B-cells to combat the blue. In their aim to fight fire with fire, they lost sight of any potential problems that could occur. As such, one particular specimen has a change of heart when he witnesses the blue up close and his B-cells become active which leads to an incredibly gruesome and horrifying betrayal. Given that the humanoid blue are humans, it is absolutely impossible for other humans to tell if they have become compromised, and thus they are able to blend in with other humans. The only known indicator of active B-cells is the azure blue glow of the subject's eyes. In the book Beyond Good and Evil, Friedrich Nietzsche wrote, Whoever fights monsters should see to it that in the process he does not become a monster. And if you gaze into an abyss, the abyss will gaze back into you. Humanoid Blue embody this concept perfectly. In their search for something to save humanity, the remnant forces damn near ended it by unleashing humans with B-cells upon the world. Truly frightening to think that humans could be working against their own kind in order to bring about the extinction of the species. While it was a good idea to keep this information secret to curb any potential panic, this decision damn near screwed the proverbial pooch. In summation, the governmental body of Second Earth really was a shit show. Before we get to the winner of this Lovecraftian horror show, let's do a quick recap. Number 5, Springworm. Number 4, Land Whale. Number 3, Ultimate Blue. Number 2, Humanoid Blue. And now we will reveal the winner, which is... Number 1, Clincher. Hijacking the top spot is the smallest blue known to man, the Clincher. Beyond its uniquely uncharacteristic small stature, it is equipped with a set of antennae that enables the clincher to drain electrical energy straight out of an active generator. So you might be thinking, all right, dude, how is that supposed to be scary? It becomes much more frightening when we learn later on that these antennae have the dual function of being able to completely override a dead human's body to take full control over it. One thing it clearly shares with most of its blue brethren is its insect-like appearance, and it also displays a very common insect defense mechanism, which is playing dead. Six feet of true terror. As Han learns in the anime, this little fella is not to be trifled with. We also learn later on during Han's autopsy that the clincher tried to, quote, fuse completely with the body and, quote, accelerate its evolution. While these claims are never elaborated on, it just adds to how terrifying this little fucker is. Interestingly enough, this blue may have been a bit of an inversion on something that's actually real. Those familiar with the game series The Last of Us will be aware of the zombie apocalypse that takes place in it, and that it is unique in the fact that the zombification comes from a fungus. What a lot of people do not know is that this fungus is based on real fungus from the Cordyceps species, which actually kills insects and arachnids before hijacking their bodies and turning them into zombies. The good news is that unlike the clincher's mechanism, it would be virtually impossible for Cordyceps fungus to kill and hijack humans, unless there was some sort of mutation involved, like in The Last of Us. That wraps up the list of Georgia O'Keeffe paintings, I mean most horrifying blue from Blue Gender. This anime is one of the most unique and interesting works that I have ever seen and I highly recommend that you watch it. 
If you want to know more, check out our review of it on this channel. If you liked what you saw, drop a like, share your thoughts in the comments, and if you want to see more content like this in the future, please subscribe to the channel.